Hi there, MSPTA Angelina Crittenden here with another MSP lesson guide video. So today I'm going to be going over the first lesson of the first unit of our program. The unit is oncology and the lesson is what is cancer. Now if you're watching this video, chances are you never taught an MSP lesson before and you're about to teach your first one. So I want to go over how to introduce yourself to your classroom first before we get into the lesson. Um, so once you enter the classroom for the first time as a teacher for your students, you really, really, really want to tell them um, who you are really like. What do you study at school? Because they are interested in learning about you. They want to know like what school you go to. They always want to know how old you are whether you have any siblings, like where you live, um, and feel free to share as much as you feel comfortable sharing, but it's really nice to let the students get a feel of your interests um, so they can see you as an actual person here to share things with them rather than just, you know, another guest speaker of sorts. Okay. Um, when you are teaching your first lesson for every unit, you will have to administer a pretest. Now, you're supposed to administer the pretests without any sort of real guidance. We're not really supposed to prep them for it, but you do want to introduce the program. So you would like to, you would ideally tell them, hi, my name is so-and-so, and I will be teaching you about science, specifically science relating to cancer. And you don't really want to go too in depth about it because you want them to have, um, you know, kind of blank slates as they go into their pretest. Um, but yeah, briefly introduce the program. Let them know that you're going to be there every week, two times a week, to teach them these lessons. So you know, kind of familiarize yourself with them. So as you administer the pretest, make sure they write down their names. Make sure they at least attempt to write something. Um, you don't want to kind of give them clues, but you can go over the questions together. So on a pretest, there's typically like four to five questions maybe, and they're not all filled in the blank. Some of them are circling, some of them are matching. So if there's a document camera, you can go through each question one by one, just so that you save time and you work on it together, but you're not giving them any hints about how to answer. Now, once that's over, we can get to the lesson. So the first lesson is what is cancer? And it's really, really not much of teaching. It's more about gauging what your students know already. So you have the when I hear the word cancer worksheets and they have to fill out what they think about, how they feel, what they already know, and what questions they have about it. Now, this can get really, really sensitive because some of the students may have relatives or friends who do have cancer or have passed away. So you really, really want to tread lightly when you're going about this topic. You need to be prepared to answer serious questions like, is it contagious? Or things like, I think about my grandma or dying. Um, you want to make the students feel safe. One way I like to do this is I have them all write it down on a piece of paper or on their worksheet. And then in my classroom, there's actually, I think I have photos of it here. There is a mat where all the students sit in a circle and we can just talk to each other. So it's a really good way to discuss things together and kind of make everyone feel safe and open and like they can share. Now, once you have your list, you write it down. So what my students knew is that cancer is a disease. They said it was really bad, it makes us sick. There are ways to help sick people feel better and it can make you die. And I know that death is a really sensitive topic, but it is something that you will have to discuss with your students. Then you want to move on to what the students want to know. So they wanted to know, how do you get it? What, what can cancer do to you specifically? And what is cancer really? Because I know it's something that makes you sick, but they didn't really know what it was. And then the big word that we wanted to highlight for the end of this lesson was oncologist. So an oncologist is someone who treats cancer, doctors, um, and they practice the study of oncology. So that's a big word that they really need to remember, so make sure you get that down. 
Um, and that's it for this lesson.